Hello, welcome back everyone. Here we are on level 4, continuing our little journey. So, in a quick little recap of the floor 3, we survived Roke's little trap where he drops us in with a wizard snake medusa monster. And we traveled through floor 3, we found that goblins have been living underneath the town the whole time. And they've been hiding out in this floor. They've struck up a deal with the wizards where they will capture the people and hold them prisoner. And they're forcing them to dig for a stone tablet that Roke was looking for. Roke being uh, Blood Roke, the leader of the Wizards Guild. And uh, pretty much the criminal mind behind the whole kidnapping thing. Somehow he's tied in with some demonic creature named uh, Ramia. Uh, the stone tablet, we found that later on, depicted that Ramya rose up in dark times until he was confronted by a brave knight, uh, King Garriot. Garriot wielded a sword called Light Crusader, and Light Crusader's power was the only thing that was strong enough to bring down Ramya. They sealed his power in four orbs, and they put him to sleep in the shrine. And so long as Ramya doesn't have the orbs, he can never be restored back to life. He needs blood sacrifices to do it. Unfortunately, Roke did trick us on floor two. We went, we snatched up all the orbs, and then he stole them from us. So now he has the orbs, he has the hostages, and we are now on floor four. And we're going to tread through here and try to see if we can get through this in one shot. Let's see. Resuming our little walk through here. Okay, that's a locked door. Let me look at the map real quick. Okay. So that up arrow is where you go back up to floor three. Alright, I know where we gotta go. We're gonna keep moving. Zombie! Back! You actually don't need to fight these guys, but they do drop a potion called the Black Potion. And you can actually sell the Black Potion to, uh, I think you can sell it to the wizards or someone else, and they'll actually pay pretty decent money for it. But don't drink it. The black potion's bad. It'll poison you. Make you sick to your stomach. David's not fond of that. No, I'm not. I'd rather not be sick. Uh-oh. So there's the wizards. They're guarding the door. You can't get past it. Even if you kill them, it won't open. So keep moving back this way. Ghoulies. Don't even bother with them. Unless you want free cheese. Okay. Hmm. Teleport room. Now, you might notice that I didn't take the, uh... Back in the room previous. That's just gonna keep... If you stay on that path, it'll take you all the way back around like one big circle back up to the stairwell, the floor three, and we don't want to do that. We want to go deeper into the middle of this maze. So, okay. Jump on this. Jump over here. Over here. Fountain of health. Delicious. Okay, zombies. This looks familiar. See what's in here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh lord, it had to be this puzzle right away. Okay. This puzzle's a little bit of a doozy, but it's worth getting. Okay, so you gotta roll this boulder down the center. The wind is gonna pick up though, so you wanna wait till the wind sorta of stops. And go. And hope it doesn't get it. Oh, oh no. Ah, wretched luck. All right. Redo. Let's try that again. Wait till the wind slows down. Hit it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, jump up there. The Relayer. That's a pretty good sword. Not the strongest, but that's okay. 
a while back uh, in 4.3, I skipped over one of the armors. I forget which one it is. can't remember if it's a dragoon or... Doesn't matter. Those of you who want to collect the armors can go back and get it. Um, what's in here? Oh! Hold on, sir. I'll get you down. What have I done to deserve this? Let's see. I want to go back to the fountain room because I think... Nope. Excuse me. <laughs> Just bounce on his head. Yeah, why fight when you can just jump on their heads? Okay, dodge his bikes, dodge his bikes. Over here. No. Get back over there. Okay. If I remember... Yes, it is. Okay. So, the electrical uh, posts there that control this platform. They move it along. We don't need to do... Oh, I didn't need that post. Whatever. Okay, so this is the wizard shop. I'm gonna give you a little hint. There's the black potion. Don't buy that. You can buy this amulet. That gives you a little life reprieve. I forgot what the green potion does. I think it's something to do with luck. Maybe full health. Red potion's full health. Blue potion, half health, I think? Or an antidote. One of the two. This uh, brown potion right here. A lot of people buy it. They go back and they compete in the goblin tournament and get more gold. And they'll just rack up gold. They'll buy this odd potion and it will turn you invisible. Which is kind of handy for one of the rooms that's up ahead. But we're not going to buy it because that takes time and I don't have that kind of time. So, moving on. I wanted to show you that shop just because uh, that's there for when you need it. That's like one of the few wizards that's actually friendly. <laughs> He's in it for the money. Alright. Let's go through here. Locked door or not. Oh, it's the farmer. Here my cow, safe. Beat them. Beat them. Beat them who? Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Well, guess what? This is going to be a little confusing. It, the enemies aren't visible in this room. Must have got their hands on that odd potion. Where are you? I know you're right here. There you are. Okay. There's one down. Got the potion. Back off, zombie! I don't know if you'd want to use fire. That might actually come in handy. I... Hmm through here. Okay, puzzle time. Uh, one. No, no, I'm fine. Don't do that. Two. Three. And ta-da! <laughs> My wife is still being held! Will you take me with you? It's too dangerous. Please wait here. Oh. Well, I understand. Really, what do you think you're going to do? Demons and skeletons? Goblins? You don't even have a sword! Oh, floors are a little slippery in this room. You can stay behind and kill the pod monsters if you want. They'll always drop like a tomato or something. Well, this is easy. Up here, up here. Ah, the crest. That's just what you need to get by the wizards. No. Come on, David. Bounce. Nice. Bounce. No! Alright, there we go. The physics in this game are so wonky. I love it. Okay, no, excuse me. I'm just gonna slip right on past you. Let's see. Is it that room or... No, you gotta go back. Excuse me. Uh, let's stop by the fountain there and grab some health. Not that we need it, but our armor's pretty decent. I see a lot of people die in this floor, and I don't know why. 
get the good armor so you won't really get killed by spikes. Excuse me. No thanks. Don't want none. Again, I just gonna remind, like, look at these walls. Look at the layout of this these ruins. I love it. I love this tomb, shrine, whatever you want to call it. Please proceed. Yes, I am one of you, even though I'm not dressed like you. Okay, let's see. That's a laser crystal. Now, ah, get in this room here. Okay. So see that platform on the other side? It moves when you move, so we're going to try to get around it. Yeah! Gold! 900 gold pieces. Hop over the laser into this room. Let's see what's going on. Oh! What? My god. They're headsome. It almost pains me to have to do this. Let's see, go right after the wizard. He's a nuisance. And look at that. They all die if you take out the wizard. And here. Thank you. Hello, madam. Thank you very much. Now I can go back to my daughter. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so that little flash, that reverses your, uh, your controls. You walk backwards, so you have to go backwards to go forwards. There you go, everything's back to normal. Onto the, the riddle. Ow! Another one of these? Okay, well, let's go in the open door first. Let's see. Arrows on the floor. Yeah. Die, fiend! Oh! A fake floor. Oh, the dragon armor. Nice. So I guess we didn't have to worry too much about that other armor back in floor three. You just skip right over it. I wonder what that sign said, though. Blank. Blank. Okay. Well, all you gotta do is kill that monster, step directly on the arrow tip, and then, wham, you go to the secret floor. Let's see. I didn't even see which one blinked. Alright, try that again. Okay, one. All right. Oh. Ha! Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Please? Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha <laughs> ha! I honestly didn't think I was gonna get that. Unfortunately, during the execution of our plan, we discover there's a traitor in our midst. Those who go against the will of Lord Roke and stand in the way of should fully understand what will happen to them. And we shall start by making an example of the king's pawn! Uh oh. Ooh. On guard! These wizards aren't too hard. There you go. Thank you. Just as I thought, my belief in Ramya was wrong. The guild is planning something outrageous. I got scared and tried to bring their plan to the attention of the king. They're trying to revitalize Ramya, that most evil demon who is sealed beneath the shrine. Oh no. 
Oh, double no! What on earth is that? It's a scorpion! Look at the size of this thing! Also, look at the detail. He's not too difficult. But I love that design. Look at that color, that armor. Okay, so as you can tell, his sauce spots his head. Stay away from his tail. Oh, I didn't need to use that potion. Whoa. There you go. Hack away at him. You can use some magic on him. I think Earthquake works pretty good. Again, we're just gonna melee him. He's pretty close to being done. The Relayer does a lot of damage to him. He didn't like that. Back off! Back off! Oh yeah. Another one done. Okay, what's this room? Back off. Shoot! Ugh, you smell! Key number four. Key number four. Oh, okay, I remember where that goes. That's way back. My gosh. Those dastardly fiends. So that big tall wizard you saw, that is the Necromancer. That is Lord Roke's most powerful wizard. Next to Lord Roke, of course. I'm sorry. Ooh, watch out. Go around, go around, go around. Stop lasering me. Just that casual. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Hmm. Okay, is this room, I think. Yes, it is. Let's see. There's a safe point. We're going to hit that first because we're going to need it. This next part of the game might make or break you. Hmm. Okay. Just like before, hit all the X's. Okay. Actually, you just need to hit the four on the sides, right in the center. Okay, this is a dangerous room. This is where you'd use the odd potion. Trial by fire! Oh, keep moving, keep moving. Let's see, we're going to pop up some magic real quick. Oh, I have no earth magic. Oh, I don't even have enough for a shield. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. We'll stick to using cure. There you go, just keep trying to jump around. Jump around. The whole trick to this this room is just to dodge the fireballs. <sighs> okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, if you jump up on this totem, you can avoid some damage. Why is... Oh, did I turn the wrong magic off? No, that's cure. I wonder if cure cues... I bet you cure cues some sort of poison or whatever. Oh! And we survived it anyway. Okay, well, there you go. You don't need the odd potion. You just need to get lucky. So, like I said, clear, a quick trick is to jump on the sign, jump on the platform, stay up here, keep bouncing, dodge most of the fire, and have enough healing items. Oh, okay. Oh, skelly. All right. If I had some earth magic, I could use the undead spell. And the undead spell... Scalies don't like undead spell. That that neutralizes them pretty easily. And through here, and through here. Meet who? Oh, yeah, I can take them. No problem. Unhandy. Back. Back. Look how fast their health goes down now that you have the relayer. Okay. Oh, okay, this. This is... Okay, this is simple. Okay, so... You can stand over here and hack the fireballs. And work them all down. Just so that you can get it. And jump right through the spell. There's a big floating ring. You gotta jump through it and get to the treasure chest. Do that, it'll dispel the spell. Ha, <laughs> I like that. Obviously, it wasn't very elegant. But the result was still the same. And we got a life up. Okay, into this room. Oh. oh it's just a little confusing with the direction. There we go. Here, take oh the the time puzzle. Oh, okay. This is 
All right, so this room is more of a marathon. You gotta run up there, grab the bomb, push it to the door. I mean, you'll probably have to do it a couple times because it's... It's really tedious. Come on. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Two, one. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, close though. Back in there. This is like the one puzzle. The one puzzle. Ah! Mm hmm. Try that again. Bounce. Push. Two. One. Jump! Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome, Courageous One. You are here after overcoming many difficulties. But I wish to put you to the test once more. To see if you are truly worthy of wielding Light Crusader. Oh my... Oh, it's the ghost of Garriott. I think. Some people have uh, reckoned that it's actually the spirit of Light Crusader. See this little shadow on the ground? It, it might be hard in the video. But there's a floating little shadow. Stay out of the armor's... Stay out of the armor's front. Watch his attacks and look for that shadow. And you want to stab it. Look for that invisible shadow. Oh, he just hurt himself! Some guardian. Okay, come on. This boss has got a bigger chunk of health than the scorpion did. Come on. 90% of the time, it's always going to be right behind him. Just get right behind him, give it a whack. Okay. That took out a chunk. Come back! I don't know if it's weak to magic. We could try lightning, maybe. But I think we got him on the run pretty good. Okay. I am going to throw a little lightning at him just to see what happens. No, that's fire wind. I don't want fire wind. No. Oh. Well, let's try fire wind, I guess. Really wishing... Okay, fire wind hurts him. It's a good way to keep some distance. Uh, come back here, you. There we go. Long distance shot. It works. <laughs> it does pretty significant. Pretty decent amount of damage. Come on. One more. Nice! Well done! You are truly worthy of using Lake Crusader's power. You must gain eight wizards' power to vanquish Ramia. Oh my word. Look at that sword. Look at that sword. That is Lake Crusader. Look at that sword. Look at all those notches. That sword could do some damage. Now these are two secret swords. Uh, we'll get one of them later. Maybe we'll get the other one if I do it right. Okay. What's up here? Alright. Ooh, these dark hallways. I love them. Oh. It's floor five. Enter the realm of your mind's chaos. I've prepared eight worlds for you. Wander throughout eternity. This floor is going to be so much fun. And I want you all to come back and and uh, go on it with me. Because this, this is where Light Crusader gets amazing. It blows your mind what is going to happen next.